Musa Ibrahim, male, age 43. Aruna Mohammed, male, age 40. As it is in connection with these two cutlasses, one dove truck, three mobile phones. Sometimes in March 2020, the IRT operator received a tip -off that one dove truck conveying 45,000 liters of PMS belonging to a company was hijacked at Samenaka in Niger State at that point by six and men. The driver and conductor of the said truck were equally abducted by the assailants. Following the receipt of this information, police operatives sought into action, intercepted the Ulums at Lam Lambata area in Niger State. Investigations revealed the suspect has discharged the product at an unknown location. The empty truck was recovered and four suspects were arrested. The suspects have confessed to the crime and equally led the operatives to the location where the products were discharged. With the aid of Petroleum Tanker Drivers Association, Suleja Depot, the products were also recovered. Further investigations revealed the suspects were part of a 10 man gang who carried out an attack on a vigilante group in Lambata, Niger State, where they carted away two pump action rifles. A total of six suspects were arrested while efforts are in top gear to apprehend the three members of this gang who are at large. Can I have the mic on Usman Mohammed? Honorable Usman Mohammed, can you tell us your name, where you are from, and your age? Uh, Mohammed Usman. I'm 40 years old. I'm 40 years old. What is happening? I'm from 10. Hello? What is happening from 10? Max, we go uh, Samunaka side, we have to drop there and carry the product on the search for Tonga around that uh, deep side. So that one attack us, arrest us. No, come on, attack you. <laughs> attack you. Thief, come attack you. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't get that, can they, can they help you get close or help CSP, please, can you assist us? Whatever language you want to speak, okay. Let let me comfortable so that I can get. Why, why are you here? Yeah, I'm here because of the trouble that went down. Can you speak out some better than the English? No, it's okay. So what what happened in March about the trouble? On uh, on 10 March. Yes, he's speaking English. Right? Say on 10 March, we we'll go by the Samonaka side. It's better. Six six of four. Go there and attack the truck, who carry the product and come and sell for Tunga, Tunga around the side. From there, police now come and arrest us. That is what the cat was going to do. How much on a discharger? <laughs> How much do you do? The product is with 5,000 liters. How much on a seller? The seller, 130. We sell, on sell the product, 130. 130 was? 130, 130, 130 liters. One hundred and thirty naira per liter. So, how much would be the total? Forty-five thousand liters. Okay, that's all right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let them have their seats. The next case: kidnapping and armed robbery. The suspects are. The suspects. Uh, Sonny Usman, where is he? Do we have them here? Yeah. 
You don't know your name. Chani Chuma. The next case is conspiracy and kidnapping. The suspect are yeah. Chima Mwako, male 31, yeah. of Osisioma Ngwa local government area of Abia State. Stanley Chukunye, male 35 years of Isiala Mbano local government of the Igbo State. Okechuku Edison, male 40 years old of Emo Emo local government of River State. Justice Nna. Male, <laughs> 18 year old of Ogoni, local government river state. Uh -uh. They specialize in kidnapping for ransom. The ring leader Okechuku Edison confessed that he has been in the business of kidnapping since 2009. Oh, okay. He was arrested by the police Every day for in 2012 you. for the offense of kidnapping and was convicted by the courts. He was among the prison inmates that broke out of oh. prison during the unfortunate attack on correctional facility in Imo State. Wow. Okay, Chuku left correctional center and continued his kidnapping business with his cohort until Locke ran out of him recently. He further confessed that it was one Okay Chuku Wako that linked him with one Sonny to do the kidnapping job for him. So me and Mwako are still at large. I will hope Nigerians will have useful information about these people to contact the police, particularly the intelligence response team of the FIB on the Nigeria Police Force. The victim reported to the police after she was released from the kidnapper's den. She was kidnapped in front of her shop, the Air Shell Petroleum at Rumodara under Obi Airport, local government in River State. The kidnappers came under the guise of buying goods from her, first out into the Alezos 470 car and drove the way to an unknown destination. They were well armed with taken for seven rifles. They kept her in an uncompleted building for four days and released her after the payment of 1.5 million naira ransom. Operatives of LRT put their shoulder to the wheel and arrested the suspect to credible intelligence. Can we have the suspects? Can we give the microphone to them, please? The ring leader, the ring leader can speak. Who is okay? Okay, Chuku. My name is Okay Chuku Edison. Yes, how old are you? I am 40 years old. Where are you from? I'm from Memoha Local Government, River State. Tell us why you are here in our office. I am here for a case of kidnapping. Kidnapping of who? One Mrs. Inkechi. How are you to Inkechi? I don't know her before. I don't know Inkechi. How did you get information about her? I didn't get any information. We were driving along that road before we saw Kechi, before we kidnapped her. How, how did you kidnap the woman? Uh, it was Chima that was holding the gun. Then we saw her in the front of her shop. And Chima came down to her to enter his side motor. That's how we kidnapped her. <laughs> okay. Where did you get the rifle you used for the operation? It was from Sonny. And I gave the information of the, to the police about Sonny. How is Sonny to you? Sonny is a friend to me. A friend? Yes. From the same village? No, sir. The same school? No, sir. The same church? No, sir. The same mosque? He's from Ishobu. The same okay. I think that's fine. Any other question for you? You, 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 you escaped from correctional uh, center sometimes ago in Imo State. You escaped. 
from the prison. So we are in prison when the IPO people come inside prison. They we are shooting people. They are forcing people to go out. If you don't go out now, they will kill you. So I now go out for my dear life. That is how it's come out for you. You run for your dear life, escaping from lawful custody. Now you have run to another custody and custody and custody. Congratulations. Please, you can have your seats. No, they are, are they not together? No, they, are they are together. The next case we have is conspiracy and kidnapping. Suspects are Abdul Rahman Lolo male, Sonny Alaji Lolo. Following credible information that kidnappers have invaded the house of one Jubrin Saidu, male of Nasawa village near. Kachari along Apuja Kaduna Road and kidnapped one Jobri Saido. The victim was sandwiched in between the kidnappers on top of a motorcycle with his hands tied. When operatives of the IRT attached to Operation Puff had intercepted the kidnappers. The victim was just killed on hot and it Abdul Rahman Lolo was arrested while his accomplice ran into the bush to evade police arrest. The suspect gave credible information that led the police to the arrest of one of the fleeing kidnappers, one Sonny Alaji Lolo. The two suspects are here. They are under investigation. And I'm sure they're going to lead the police to close in on some of the other members of various gangs of kidnappers who terrorize Innocent Nigerians along Abuja Kaduna Expressway. As you all know, that generally we've been having issues of kidnapping in Kaduna states. And in line with the directive of the Special General Police, that police operatives should go after these criminal elements who disturb our people along this route and in Kaduna states in general. Our efforts have been intensified to make sure that we decimate activities of kidnappers along the route and within Kaduna and other parts of this country accordingly. We have these two suspects here today for interview. Can we give them microphone, please? Can you please? Lobata, give me away. Let me see. You are not transparent. Can you mention your name, please? Sunan Abdul Rahman. Sunan. How old are you? Twenty. I said it. I said it can't be more than twenty. I said twenty. Which town is it from? And it looks messy. He's older. He's staying, he's living at Katere. Me, I call Kana. They went and took, uh, uh, kidnapped a woman to go and uh, rape her, and then they were arrested. Is it Matane Gakama? Okay, they stopped a woman and a man at the same time. So, the guy now the mayor, why they have come up with the shit? They arrested them with Sani. Why the Sani? Okay, they arrested him with with Sani. And this is Sani. Uh, Sani, what may I come can now? No, before you go to Sani, why that target? Why that woman? 
Do we need more information? Yes. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. How long does it take? Okay, I'm done. So, catch you one day, I check is Kajika Kamata. What he has just said is that he went, they went, the two of them went at the house, they went to pick the woman and then the husband was there, they tied the husband, they tied the husband and they took the husband Okay. Thank why you. Is, how long it, why the woman and why was she the target? How long was? For how long has it been in this business? One day I put the cookie. For cookie, no cookie. You put sack, sack, put sack. But in it. Hey, come on, come on. Why do you ask whether he is ready for the red? She, she, matter. Can you pay the data? Can you pay the matter? That they did not rape the woman. But why was she a target? Because the woman was a target. No, the woman was a target. Sunny came to the woman in that house. His name or his name? This Sunny was a target. This Sunny was a target. That they went together to pick the woman and the man, and they saw the man in the house, so they took the man out, and then they were arrested. The same thing that this boy has said. Why that particular His name woman? Age. Sunan Karaini. Shakarunka, his name is Muhammad Usani. Shakarunka, that is 20, 27 right. years old. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. We have this case of car theft. The suspect has been charged to court. But we just want to learn one or two things about this case. The two suspects involved in the case are Henry John Mill, 32 years, from Sabon Tasha. In Kaduna State, and Joseph Paul, made 27 years from Omala Kogi State, uh, they were arrested in Kaduna. Uh, Henry John, a dismissed soldier from 146 Battalion on Okuja, Cross River State, resides in Kaduna. He was invited to Abuja by one Joseph Paul, May, who told him he had a business proposal for him. But on reaching Abuja, the proposed business turned out to be stealing of homes ah. and snatching of cars. They visited one Mr. Oyibo Amedu at his residence in Guaripa and posed as businessmen, well dressed. They led him out to a nearby place with his Toyota Camry to discuss business ideas. We think, and while they were discussing Henry John requested to use the car, Toyota Camry muzzle, to pick up his colleagues from somewhere and run away with the vehicle. The lesson here is that when people come to you, post as business partners, you must assess them very well and be very, very careful. I don't know why the victim would just allow somebody you're meeting for the first time to use a vehicle to go and pick a colleague. You don't know them from others. And this is the lesson is Nigerians to learn from this that people now disguise in many ways to dupe us. 
to steal a property. And of course, this is one of the cases we want Nigerians to know. IRT operatives arrested them eventually, and they have been charged to court without any delay. But we felt it's necessary for us to narrate this case as a case study for us to learn from them. Gentlemen of the press, with the effort of the Special General Police to mop up arms across the country, you can see the arsenal of arms we have on ground. I said in totality we have more than 50 rifles. You can see some of these rifles are AK-47 rifles believed to have been snatched from security operatives. Devil ladies are prohibited firearms. No individual has the right to own this according to the law of this land. As you can see, the IGP has given directive that we should use the big numbers of these rifles to trace the owners or the agency who, who, agencies that, who have these that have these rifles. Normally when we recover rifles like this, what we do is to send to circulate the numbers among security agencies for possible identification to know the source. If it's in the military, army, navy, air force, police, even correctional service, customs, uh, civil defense, those that use this kind of rifle will be able to know who holds this rifle. And of course, most times when it's been identified after verification, we return same to them. And I'm sure some of these rifles too will belong to the police, some of our men that were attacked uh, that we lost in battle. You can see the AK-40, the ammunition of GPMG, this is GPMG. When you hear the sound of this, if you are not good enough like me, you will run away. You can see the recoveries we've made, and I can assure you very soon again, by next year we're going to have another set of display of recovered um, arms. I'm not going to uh, reveal the number of arms again we have recovered. We are doing all this to make sure that within our capability as a responsible security uh, institution to mop up some of our arms that are in wrong hands. These we believe will help us to reduce to the barest uh, level of criminal activities in this country. Gentlemen of the press, we want to appreciate you for your efforts so far in projecting our effort to make sure Nigerians and the whole globe are informed of the happenings in this country. We still want to retreat our commitment to make sure that we're not relent in our efforts in making sure we curb the activities of these men of the underworld. On behalf of the Inspector General of Police, Federal Republic of Nigeria, GP Usman Akali Baba, we want to say thank you to you all. We want to appeal to you to continue to partner with us in making sure we have a safer society in this country. Thank you and remain blessed.